Hello everyone, this is Veron from Star Speaker Arts and welcome back to my channel where I blab while drawing something in the background. So for today, as you can see on the screen, before you jump into the themes and all of that, uh, I'm doing value plotting or I, I think it's called something else officially but I just call it value plotting. It's just setting down your highlights and your shadows in a single monotone or monochrome setting or, or sketch and it's very rough. It's just meant to tell me where I want to put my shadows and lighting. So I wanted to do that because I had a very specific image in mind with where the light source was coming from and I also kind of wanted to improve my shadows because I tend to do it first but I've seen a lot of artists start with light and put the shadow in afterwards which makes a bit more sense I think so I wanted to try that out. So today um, we're drawing this rainy um, a little moody, not depressing, just a little bit moody kind of drawing featuring an original character of my friend and I just wanted to draw this window with water or rain on it and this was supposed to be like a solarium where there are plants but after sketching out several compositions this kind of turned out the one that I liked the most. So while we uh, or rather, while I, while I do the window pane in the background, I'll talk a bit more about this piece and this video. So, this video is a bit longer. I ended up deciding I think I want like longer video since I want this to be the kind of video where people could have in the background while they're maybe drawing themselves or maybe they're doing their chores or doing whatever. So. We will have some music later on when I run out of things to say. I don't think I can talk for 22 minutes straight anyway, so yeah. So maybe expect a bit more longer videos from me in the future, um, assuming that I don't get lazy doing the recording. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this drawing came about because I was listening to some lo-fi music from a game that I was playing. It's called Path to Nowhere. It had an event that was featuring lo-fi music, punk music, but the lo-fi was really good. And it got me into this really nice lo-fi mood where I was just listening to lo-fi music. And that kind of just sparked my brain into doing this kind of mood. And lo-fi tends to evoke the image of rain and night and just quiet. So I wanted to draw that up. As for the drawing itself, I wanted to be a little bit more intentional with how I do things, so that's why you saw me doing the values earlier. Um, with the window pane, I probably could do a lot better, but I also wanted to make sure that the the slot in it or the wood on it really looked like it's interlocking with each other. I also wanted to use layer effects like Gaussian blur. So that's all. Of, that's some things you can expect as I go through this drawing. That being said, I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas, or if you celebrate it, if you don't, I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of a break. Um, I hope you'll also have a wonderful New Year that's coming up in a couple of days as of recording. I'm assuming I'll put this up like literally tomorrow, so I hope your New Year will be well. Uh, please be safe about fireworks. I know in some countries your state does it for you, but where I'm at, People still do their own fireworks, so please don't do anything dumb with fireworks. Please stay safe and don't do anything your grandma wouldn't do, I guess. Unless your grandma lost it. No, no. <laughs> anyway.
that does remind me if you do want to see just the plain speed paint version of this where you don't see the ui of clip studio uh you don't see the entire like slow process going through all of it and you want it to just be faster um i usually put up the speed paint wheel on instagram on youtube shorts it's just the native screen recording feature of Clip Studio Paint that I just added out because so I cut out like really long minuscule details that don't really show up well. But generally, if that's what you want to see, I'll also put that up concurrently pretty much with this video. But if you want to just chill, have something in the background, feel free to just stay here with me. And because my inspiration for this drawing was lo-fi, we are of course having lo-fi music while we do this, if I can find any. So here I'm using the values I plotted out earlier to just map out where the shadows are gonna be and that gives me, that saves me a lot of brain cells from my during rendering phase that oh okay I just know that that's where the light is, I know that's where the shadow is so I just refine that, make it less, um, less blocky and just blend that out here and there and it makes it easier. One thing I do wanna do, I think, maybe in my next pieces if I remember was keep this method, I also want to do um, like the effect that saturates the edge of the shadow and the light a bit and it has like this really super saturated yellowy border between the light and the shadow. I kind of forgot to do it here. Uh, I might incorporate some line art again. I think I did that for one of my previous pieces but I kind of forget to do it uh, in the more recent stuff. So yeah. Somehow this technique and the the book that I was reading kind of helped me enjoy rendering and painting a lot more. It used to be that I really hated it. <laughs> Line art used to be my fa most favorite part of drawing. I absolutely hated backgrounds. Backgrounds are still kind of weak for me, but I don't hate them anymore, so that's great. I wonder if it's also, if it's also an age thing.
what can also start to learn with this new technique or this new style of painting is that I don't I can be kind of rough with it but as long as the details are small and it's a small part of the piece it's not really noticeable and I can just leave it unsmoothed and unrendered it still looks good it actually even looks better than when I fully smooth it and not unrendered it so that's something I want to try to keep doing or keep in mind when I'm drawing the picture is to just let myself have harsher lines sometimes have harsher shadows and not feel the obsessive need to blend it out <laughs> into the actual rest of the entire piece so I think that used to be a bit of my weakness when I was especially a little bit younger um, a couple of years ago I just kept on blending it and smoothing it and blending it into the rest of it that it just looked too smooth, not not much definition between stuff, and just looked all weird. I also am trying to put in a little bit more care into detail and attention. Like even though I know it won't be as visible, it just gives it a little bit more life to it and a little bit more detail I guess it's a little bit more impact even though it's not particularly noticeable like that shadow and the eyes and all of that that's something I don't really want to do try to keep doing and just slow down appreciate the process of just painting So here I'm just adjusting the eyes and the, the mouth earlier, realized it was a little too big for the face. And then with some amount of foyer, I realized that I painted some um, some of the bangs and the hair on the layers of the eyes. So in between cuts here, I, I just fixed that up a little bit, touched that up a bit and make sure that the hair doesn't have a weird cut in the middle. That's one thing I'm doing, even though now I've been trying to paint more or less in one or two layers, I, I try to keep the eyes and the eyebrows still separate because I know I tend to adjust that quite a bit and I tend to fix that quite a bit. So the eyes, the eyebrows, the eyelashes just go all in one layer. 
and then as much as I try, I try to keep everything else in another layer, or maybe two, and then on top of that, it'll just be like um, overlays, color corrections, effects, and stuff like that. I, I have now been converted into the one or two layer scan. I used to be in like the 50, 60, 70 layers. <laughs> Because I didn't trust myself, and everything had to be on a layer. But after switching to this more painterly style, it kind of just came along with the territory. It's hard to do this painterly style with a ton of layers. Um, I'll probably only do that now when I'm doing a like, character design kind of thing, where I'm actually working in parts and layers than an actual painting like this.
So now I'm just adding the plant that I wanted to somehow still include this entire composition. And I really don't know what plant this is. I just kind of remembered some leaves and then remembered how some stalks look like and then just went with it. Like, I was kind of getting tired at this point. But I really wanted to have it in there. And I was thinking, oh, I'll put it anyway so it's not like it's that important. I'll get into that mindset eventually. We'll see. So now I'm just doing some color correction, and this part was the part of paid contention with myself. Uh, the original sketch, of, of course, had this very dark blue cast, but I really like the render and I really like the colors. So I was like, oh, I really wanna, I really wanna add this blue cast on it. So okay, let's just try adding the highlights that it's supposed to be there, and then it becomes oh no, it doesn't look good. So I tried using a soft brush or an airbrush instead to. Just soften out those edges and, and, and then now I'm like, fine, it's starting to look good. It's starting to be what I have in my head. But I'm still really gonna fix it because I really want that nice saturated colors that I worked hard on. But I know that to make it look better, I, I should have this blue cast. So I just kind of went with it in the end and that's how you end up with the final piece. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!